in what's rather a change, I thought I would read two extraordinary love poems by Sir Thomas Wyatt, who was uh, an ambassador of Henry VIII's, a very learned and remarkable man who had the misfortune to fall in love with Anne Boleyn. And I rather fancy that both of these poems are about their thwarted love affair. The first is better known than the second. They flee from me that sometime did me seek with naked foot stalking in my chamber. I have seen them gentle, tame and meek that now are wild and do not remember that sometime they put themselves in danger to take bread at my hand. And now they range, basely seeking with a continual change. Thanked be fortune, it hath been otherwise twenty times better, but once in special, in thin array after a pleasant guise, when her loose gown from her shoulders did fall, and she me caught in her arms long and small, therewithal sweetly did me kiss, and softly said, Dear heart, how like you this? It was no dream, I lay broad waking, but all is turned through my gentleness into a strange fashion of forsaking, and I have leave to go of her goodness, and she also to use new fangleness. But since that I so kindly am served, I would fain know what she hath deserved. And this poem, which is completely unparalleled, really, we're talking about the 16th century and this extraordinary insight into the hurt endured by the one that one loves as the cause of one's own suffering. There was never nothing more me pained, nor nothing more me moved, as when my sweetheart her complained that ever she me loved, alas, the while. With piteous look she said and sighed, Alas, what aileth me to love and set my wealth so light on him that loveth not me? Alas, the while. Was I not well void of all pain when that nothing me grieved? And now with sorrows I must complain and cannot be relieved. Alas, the while. My restful nights and joyful days since I began to love be take from me. All thing decays, it can I not remove. Alas, the while. She wept and wrung her hands with all. The tears fell in my neck. She turned her face and let it fall. Scarcely therewith could speak. Alas, the while. Her pains tormented me so sore that comfort had I none, but cursed my fortune more and more to see her sob and groan. Alas, the while. 